I'm an Air Force Airman. I am a bow hunter. I am a fisherman. I am Mark of All Trades. This year I wanted to try a different kind of saddle. I knew that I wanted something that would last and something that would be a little bit more comfortable for those longer sits. I found Cruiser Saddle and I definitely wanted to give them a shot and give them a try. I'm about to give you guys my honest opinion on it and I think total so far I've probably messed around with it for about five hours you know with scouting and just trying it out in different places so hopefully you guys like this review and it can prove helpful for you. This is super nice guys and I like the way that the leg straps are off to the sides and they're not coming straight up um, like the tethered. I think that's super nice. Um, it feels real good on a lean. Uh, we'll come down here and do a sit. It feels really supportive and I know that it's got that little back bend in the back. Let me pull that up a little bit. Oh yeah, it like really supports you in the back. I don't know. It like comes all the it comes like all the way up. It's super nice. Like you'd think that that'd be uncomfortable, but honestly, it's not bad. Like it feels like it's like wrapping you. And when you sit down on your knees, oh, it's great. So here I just wanted to show you guys the expansion chamber for this saddle, and I wanted to show it in practical use. So it can go up a little bit higher than this, but in this position, I was super comfortable. So here I just wanted to show you guys how I attach my lineman's belt to my saddle. This is just a figure eight follow through and you know it just kind of eliminates the need for another carabiner if you just attach it to the saddle. And right here I wanted to show you as well that there are molly tie-ins on the back of this so that you can put, you know, tethered has the cyst hauler on there and um, it's just really nice that there's a bunch of attachments on the saddle that you can use for practical use. So here I just wanted to show you guys my setup. So I have my tethered up here. I have my uh, press six knots right here. I have my carabiner right here. It's got the locking mechanism on here. And here you go. You can see uh, here is my um, spot here for my uh, rope, my lineman's rope. And you can see here that it's not, it's not cutting into my hips like the tethered did. The tethered was great but it, it really cut into my hips and it really was tight. On this one, it, you got plenty of room and with that back bend in the back, oh, it's so nice. So over here, I did not get a, there's a, a hauling case that you can get with tethered. Um, I did not get one with the cruiser. So um, I'm just gonna keep it off to the side like this and it's not hurting anything. I can easily, you know, pack it up if I wanted to. But I, I like this. I think it's a, a good setup. Um, I'm using my my Predator platform on here, so it's pretty cool. And uh, overall, um, I'm really digging this, guys. I think that this saddle is going to be super comfortable to sit in for hours at a time. And in my tethered, I couldn't really do that. So I think that this is going to be a game changer as far as saddle hunting goes for me. Let me know in the comments if you guys are using a cruiser saddle or even another kind of saddle um, I got put on to the cruiser saddle by Mad Hunt Adventures so shout out to him and you know he did like a saddle comparison on it and that's actually what made me want to go out and go look at the cruiser just based off of his recommendation so hey just a shout out to you for that thanks for the recommendation this is a solid saddle so I just wanted to go over some of the specifications of the cruiser XC so the XC stands for expansion chamber and when that's open, it adds a next level comfort that kind of supports and cups your back. The XC is equipped with quick release buckles. And this one right here goes against your waist and that's what holds the main part. And this one right here actually goes for your legs. And these are awesome. They connect super quick. And right here, I'm showing you where the lineman's belt goes. I don't have any kind of um, patch for that or holder for my lineman's belt. So it's cool just to hang it right there. And it's nice that they kept it orange so that you can see it in the dark or in low light conditions. And here I'm just showing you the leg straps. I also wanted to show you how easy that these quick release buckles are. I only have one hand here and they go in so easy and so smooth. 
and then to release it it's just as easy just the two clamps on the side and you're good to go so there you have it guys i really like this cruiser saddle again the only saddle that i've known is the tethered mantis and you know what like that really got me by for the first year and i was really getting into saddle hunting and it's still a good saddle today i'm not knocking it by any means but i definitely think that the cruiser saddle is top notch i think that all the flaws that the tethered mantis had this picks up for and it's so much more comfortable to sit in it's got that little back bend in the back and it really supports you on those long sits heck even if you're not trying to sit for a long time that's nice to have just to be able to put it up and the other thing i like is that it doesn't ride in the crotch area either these straps down here just offset to the side so well and i'm a big fan of that um, after a while sitting in the tethered mantis you know it just kind of really rides up and it just gets annoying after a while but they definitely got those right and i also like the way that these clamp into one another and they're not the hooks so that's another awesome thing about that the only thing i wish i would have gotten was the adjustable bridge um, i know that they sell that on their website i personally didn't go for that but i think that might be my next option for whenever i go back to the cruiser market this cruiser saddle goes so well with the predator platform it's almost like they're made for each other you know i don't think that there's a better platform on the market today than the predator i mean it's really compact it's light yeah it makes a little bit of noise if you don't practice with it but overall all in all these two go hand in hand so if you guys are looking to get into saddle hunting don't go cheap make sure you get the predator platform it'll pay dividends in the long run i promise you but if you guys like this review definitely like the channel subscribe let me know in the comments and i'll catch you next week in the next video